We gotta get started first. Okay. All right. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm Sam. And you are? Oh, I am me. Okay, so there's me. Because I'm not the goose. No, nope. Sam is a goose. Okay, so first we're going to start in the chapel. Set him on this. I don't have it done, but it'll be warm and setting him on the table. Poor goosey. Don't want him to get tangled in the thing there. Okay. I'm going to have to make it bigger, aren't I? No, he needs to. Okay. For the All right. There you go. So, our verse today is Matthew 6, 26. It says, Behold the fowl in the air, for they, they sow not, neither do they reap, nor do they gather in barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Do you know what that means? Uh, God cares for all things. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so pretty much there you go. Your opening needs to be bigger, though. No, because if his head can go in, surely his body can fit. Well, his head's like this big around. His body's like this big Okay, so in the bar and stalls, we have a new co-star, right? Yep. And he is... Sam. Sam. It's the only gender neutral name we could think of. This sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so what is Sam? It's a goose. You guys already knew that? It is. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. So, how did we end up with Sam? Mom went to the feed store to get chicks. I didn't accidentally buy any ducks this year. Nope. She bought nope. me a goose. It's my goose. It's my goose. Just it is. Her. How long have you wanted a goose? A long time. And we've never found any like... I've wanted a want. goose for longer than I've wanted a kangaroo. <laughs> and I've wanted a kangaroo for a while now. <laughs> But, like, when you were little, you wanted geese, too, correct? Yeah. To the point where he had us build the pond, the island, so that wild geese would come, correct? Yep. And he always said he was going to take an egg and hatch it, and, yeah, that never happened. Um, I never got came. brave enough to go out there and get one. They were big geese. <laughs> so, today, while I was out, I had promised no ducks. I wasn't going to be silly. I would be realistic. Um, I went and got ten pullets. I just got mixed. I did not get all one breed and go specific. We just got a colored flock, right? Because we just want them They're for chickens. eggs. They're chickens and he's not showing them anymore. So we got some wine dots. I got a black silky. I got a couple of buffs, a um, couple of Araconas, um, just mix and match whatever they had, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then if he steps on it and stops it, we better move that off of there. Because if he clicks it, <laughs> the little mouse. Okay. So, anyway, I called RJ. I picked him up a snack. And then, um, what, Sam? Don't eat my pen. Don't eat the pen. He's after my pen here. I know. And anyway, so, he's just pecking away. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, he's going to type, aren't you? Are you going to type? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, we picked them up, and uh, I called RJ and said that I had him. Let's not step on that. I'm freaking roll off. I had him a surprise, mm -hmm. and I actually had you two surprises. Yep. But one was a snack. They were two for $2 or $1.79 a piece. So I picked up two because I hadn't eaten anything when I left. And then he asked me, and I told him the other one was a snack, and he goes, is the other one alive? And I said, define alive. He goes, not ducks. <laughs> I said, no, it wasn't ducks. And the only other thing that we had, that when you go on a poultry run, is geese and turkeys, correct? Right. So what made you think of a goose over a turkey? We'd had turkeys before. Yeah. And those were always your pets. Yeah. And you for it, to me. yeah. But we've never seen geese for sale anywhere like this, have we? I don't know. I don't think so. I never have. And no, we're not worried about him pooping. We'll just clean it up. We've had chickens and stuff in the house before, so I would prefer him not to poop on my electronics, but hey, it happens, huh? Is this your bed? You gonna get on your bed? There you go. Nope! <laughs> he doesn't want on his bed, no. He doesn't want on the bed. Okay, get over here. But anyway, so, um, RJ, what are you gonna do? I'm afraid he's gonna poop on it. What are you going to do with Sam? I'm going to teach him to chase people. No, he's not going to chase people. He's very loving, and he's already got personality. He likes to, to nestle at your neck, doesn't he? And he tried to get my 
Um, oh, he's going to eat that. <laughs> Don't you undo it. He's now pulling the stitches out of my crochet. He says the hole is not big enough, Mom. Look at this. Hey, Will. Look at this. It'll guys. be fine. It's, it's going to be really big humped up. It's not. You want it to nestle, and it's going to stretch. It's still not big enough, it's, he says. <laughs> he says it's not big enough. Because <laughs> I'm not going to stay this big for, for very long. Well, it's just for now, because he gets lonely. And I want him to be, like, cocooned. In a week, he's going to be, like, this big. I'll make another one. Okay. Anyway, all right, so, so in the barn stalls, we have Sam, and Sam is going to start, yep. we want him handled a lot so that he doesn't get, or she doesn't get, um, what does it mean? Aggressive. Because we don't know what he is. He's just some commercial goose that was at, for sale at, um, what? He's a mush goose. He she is. is a mush goose. Or he or she but I love his gray feet, and he's got gray and pink, or gray and yellow, and he just, he's gorgeous. I don't know what he is, but he's pretty. So, anyway, um, there was two others I started to get, too, huh, son? But we I just need one. I just figured we needed one. I was probably going to get in more trouble than I needed with just one. So, anyway, okay, so also, what else has gone on in the barn stalls? I don't know how many lambs we've had. A bunch. Not a bunch. We've only got 20 like, million. We have not. I think we've had what? Okay, sorry, 10 million. We've got five Shetlands, mm -hmm. uh, Fudgies, then two Hershey's, today. and then two today. So nine on yeah. the. Okay, so seven on the pasture. No. Who else had. Gertie had one. So maybe 10. Mm -hmm. That's your bed, dude. What do you think? Or do that. Sam. What do you think about the bed, Sam? Well, for a long time, we were just calling it Goose. Yeah, well, we got to have something more than Goose, so. Yep. But this is RJ's, so mm -hmm. Goose belongs to RJ. Mm -hmm. And so. Yep. You mean come Christmas dinner? You are not going to eat. <laughs> we was calling Christmas dinner one time. We named the turkeys that way. Christmas, Thanksgiving, yeah, and, Easter. and Easter. And then I couldn't eat them, so really, no. Not going to be Goose. Not going to be Goose for dinner um but anyway so and then something else has shown up out of the barn a cat we got a new cat i've been calling it sylvester like off of sylvester and tweety <laughs> that's what we ought to call goose tweety tweety okay. like a little tweety bird if you want no i'll just stick with sam i like sam okay he just wants to say come on sam come on yep <laughs> I know. We could name him something else if it, we knew it wasn't like a boy. I, I don't or know. Girl. They were straight runs, and I know how to tell on chicks. Like I can pull their wing out and tell by their pin feathers. But the only way I know how to do is wait a year or so and see if it lays an egg. Yep, pretty much. Well, and, and don't geese get like waddles or something? Well, we don't know what kind it is, so we're not gonna know if it does. It's just a goose. If it lays an egg, we'll know it's a girl. <laughs> yep. It's just a goose. And if it never lays an egg, we'll wonder for the rest of our lives. <laughs> if it was a girl, I know. It's okay, baby. What? But, anyway, so, Sam will be on our podcast from now on, checking in from time to time. Hopefully He's our new showing, regular co-star. Hopefully showing more than his butt. Yeah, he just picks at everything. What do you think of that? He is fast, him. though, isn't he? Yes, he is. She. It. It. Sam. Look, he's looking at that hole and, like, cocking his head. It's going to be a cocoon, like an igloo, a little goosey You're going to end up making a new one in, like, a week. That's you know, fine. That's fine. That's my finger, dude. You do that. <laughs> See? You do the same thing, dude, or do that. Sam. That's my finger. It tickles Sam. when he does it to your neck. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, so... There is Sylvester out in the barn, new kitten that has just showed up from somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, Should have named it Gilligan. The kitten? Yeah. Oh, I just been calling it Sylvester. It's not like it comes oh. to you. It's 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 not feral. No. Mm -hmm. It's just not real trusting of us. Is Man, it? look at that. He needs to his head all between his legs. Yeah. I can't do that. I'm not that flexible. 
<laughs> you got your finger too. And you got me, man. You got me. But anyway, so yes, we're pretty. We Sam. are just happy with this little goose. We my don't finger's know. down. Sam got my finger. It's down. Yeah, well, so's his bed. What? He's just interesting to us. RJ has always wanted one since he was little and shown at the Tulsa State Fair. And I almost people, bought that one that one time. Yeah, but it was really high. Well, it, yeah, but it was a goose. It was a show goose, but man, it was expensive. It's ex still. very expensive. And I, I just couldn't break down and say, and not for a goose. I was like, no, 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 no. So um, I found these. They weren't very expensive. Um, I'm sure they're a commercial mutt goose, but hey. We're happy with it, aren't we're we? We're okay, Sam. Oh, you startled him. You have to move slow. We just got him today, too. So, Okay, so when... So Sam <laughs> ran across the keyboard. He turned the camera off. <laughs> RJ's always yelling at me not to turn it off, but Sam did it this time, didn't you? Sam says you got long-winded. <laughs> I guess he just yelled, cut! <laughs> He's now the, the official producer. Yep. <laughs> or is it the director that says cut? Director. Director, the producer. Uh, oh, big stretch. There you go. Yeah. Producer produces it once it's all put together. Okay. Director directs while you're filming. Okay, but the producer cuts it all together and all that. Or yeah. is that an editor? I have no idea. I'm not in the show business, but <laughs> I, I know the director is uh, directs everybody, tells them what okay. to do. Okay, so do. he yelled, cut, but we're not done. Sam, we have to keep going. Yep. <laughs> we're trying to talk geese, and it's not working, are we? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So, what is a baby goose? A gosling. Yes, he is a gosling. Kind of like a Ryan gosling. Okay, so what's a gaggle of geese? Do you remember? A whole bunch of little ones. No. No? No. A gaggle is eight or more. Eight or more. Doesn't have anything to do with size. Ow, he bit me. Oh, my gosh. He's vicious. He's vicious. Vicious, vicious, I tell you. You have a goose nugget, then. Oh, um, but yeah, a gaggle of geese is eight or more on the ground. If there's eight or more flying, what are they called? A flock. Yep, a flock. Stupid thing. You had to know all this stuff for poultry, mm -hmm. for poultry judging and stuff, and that's why we know it. But anyway, oh, you're tired. Okay, okay, she's gonna steal the show. All right, he's just gonna lay there. Hello, we're still here. Yep. <laughs> okay, so we've had four lambs, right? Yep. Um. Oh, Petunia. Did you talk about her? No. She had two, but unfortunately neither made it. One was stillborn and one didn't last the first 24 hours. We don't know what was with her pregnancy. She separated off like days before and I was like, she's going to have them, she's going to have them. And she didn't have them. Something wasn't right. Mm -hmm. um, so, we don't know what's up with that. Um, this year we've had, and it's not just us that's having issues in this area with the weather. Um, mm -hmm. Eddie had a calf that was... At least three months, three weeks premature. Closer premature. to five or six. Yeah, like five or six premature. It's alive, but they'll see, you know. Um, and everybody's having prematures and just small. And it's the weather. It'll be, you know, what, 11 degrees at night and 70 in the day. Then it'll be. It's not that cold. It's like 30. Instead well, of no, I'm thinking back. Think back. 11, oh, yeah, 11 and then like and 68, 70. Two days later, yeah. Yeah, and then it'll get down to 29 and then it'll get up to. 30, 40 during the day, and then I get down to, mm -hmm. and it just, it's all over the place, so it's not, it's not just us, <laughs> you okay, okay, he had an itch, you have to keep his feet from sliding, mm -hmm. put your hand up there and let him, okay, okay, there you go, <laughs> he's just after RJ, he's playing with RJ's hand, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so, just issues. He's hungry. I gave him food. He's been in this Sam, thing. Sam, Sam, not he. It. it. It's been in its tote, but when it goes in its tote, what happens? It just yells. It just sits there and yells, and I can't stand to listen to it, and so I just have to go and get it. Yeah, yeah, go get old Sam. 
cracky right here. now. And then once you put him on your chest, though, like he curls up right on your heart mm -hmm. and just calms right down. And RJ was sitting in a chair. We've got some pictures on Facebook of him just mm -hmm. sitting there, and, and he's just... got a big mouth. Look at that. You do? Oh, look. You can put my whole finger in his mouth, okay. or her mouth. But it's he can't my... close it. No, I'm glad, because I'm going to swallow my finger whole. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, all right. Moving on from in the barn stalls, right? Mm-hmm. All right, uh, mending fences. Anything break down? You got your truck fixed, yeah, right? Yeah, later. No, now it had a uh, thing. Put it. Oh, oh you what? Watch. Oh, he's challenging Arch. He's so pretty when he stands up. It's a good goose. Don't hit him in the head now. That's box. Okay, enough with the goose. Come on. Um, your truck, there was a pulley that is no longer needed on those trucks, and... Yeah, they just put spare parts on them. Yep. And so you can't even get the right belt to go back on them. No. Nope. And with it squeaking, his is actually seized up, but you can't buy a replacement part for it, so you just have to remove the pulley, correct? Right. And put a shorter belt on it. It has something to do with emissions or something. Oh, he's itching. He's stretching. He slides when he stretches. That's why he needs that little... He needs mm -hmm. to sit on this. It's cold. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There. Sit right there. Down. Down the goose. And Sam. Then. Sam. Down Sam. <laughs> anyway, so I probably am going to take that off and make it a bigger round, in, aren't I? I told you. <laughs> I told Santa's you so. sitting on there. Well, when he sits, he's just like a handful. I tried to tell but you. But he's not going to have room to maneuver around in there. No, I'll, no. I'll get him a little iggly. Okay, I'll get it made. I'll get it made. Got to go bigger. Go bigger, go home. I know. Okay. All right. But we'll get a train wreck soon. Anyway, so you got everything hooked up. You just have to remove the pulley, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, because the pulley's touching the belt, right? Yep. All right, and we don't want to tear up another belt. Uh, good boy, Sam. Good girl, Sam. Good get, Sam. Good, Sam. Sam, I am. Uh, so you got that fixed. Mm -hmm. What else do we work on? Chicken coop. Mm -hmm. And that's where those chicks are, aren't they? Mm -hmm. um, just kind of spruced it up in there, cleaned it out. Um, i got to clean the nesting boxes in the next day or so just to clean it. And then I moved the latch on the door so that it wouldn't stick so bad. Uh, what else? Shut the door. The There's a new piece of wood and a new door on it, right? Mm -hmm. um, I worked in the garden. Oh, that's in the fields, isn't it? Anything else that we fixed? No, not really. All right, so in the yarn farm, we're just going to do a soft opening. We're not going to have a big day celebration thing. Right? Right. Yeah. Um, and the reason is, is because now I have a job and I don't have a whole lot of time to plan it, do I? Mm -mm. So it's just easier. I mean, if people show up remembering that we did that, we just aren't doing the discounted entry, right? Right. And I've got a list of, I didn't bring it over here, but I made a list of things that I want to demo on Saturdays and we'll start that in April. And if it Grab takes... Grab it, man. Get it. Get it, Sam. Get it. <laughs> Oh, you've got it now. You've got it now. <laughs> um, like that one? Yeah, yes, the goose is definitely entertaining to us, okay? We love it. Just, um, you got that one? Oh, you've got a hold of that one. You've got to get a hold of it. <laughs> it's going to fall over getting them. Mm -hmm. Like part pit bull. Once it gets a hold of it, you're going to keep it. <laughs> oh. get, you're mad you can't get a hold of it very good, aren't you? I was looking for something. Oh, we can get hold of this. Okay. Yeah, he's pulling stitches. Well, you're going to pull it out anyways because you messed yeah, it up. That's she didn't listen. Sam <laughs> did not listen. <laughs> he takes everything, puts it in his mouth, and back and forth like a pit bull. Like a little dog. Mm -hmm. Just um, part pit bull. Just bred into him. Anyway, so... Part chihuahua, too. Uh, that's where he got his mouth. Anything else in the yarn farm? Nope. Sam says his color is ugly. 
It matches him. Or her. Maybe he thinks he's an ugly duckling. He's not. He's pretty. He's gray and yellow. Her. Yeah. Sam. Gray and yellow. Gray and yellow. Yes, you are. Oh, he thinks it's a worm. Quit making it move so fast. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, we're going to move on because that's really all we have in the yarn farm. I don't have a whole lot going on in there, do we? We're going to teach Sam how to lasso. You're going to teach this go goose how to rope, huh? Yeah, we're going to teach Sam how to lasso. I don't think so. Maybe I'm going to lasso the goat. The goose. The no. goose. Yeah. I've already lassoed the goat, but we'll lasso the goose. Uh, sure. Um, Alright, in the fields, I pruned the trees, got all of it cleaned up. I don't have anything planted. I started to pick up some plants today, but I had my hands full with poultry. I just was on a poultry thing. Um, then, I haven't, oh, I got the grow tower in place, right? Mm -hmm. I got, I don't have anything planted in it. The only thing I haven't done is really plant the seeds. I am looking, I want to put some garlic in the garden. Because I have my onions, but I want to get a perennial garlic that I can harvest half and leave half so that it comes back each year. Um, and then I want to get some chives too. Mm -hmm. And I got to figure out my herbs. So, what are you doing? I hey, my shirt. <laughs> I was trying to get it all out. See? Yeah, but you're spooking him. He's yelling at you. I was poking me through my shirt. Um, okay, so. I see him. So let me get down on your level, man. Okay, now I'm down on your level, what do you think? Oh, you're not even gonna look at me. You're not even gonna look at me. I'm down on your level, dude. Yeah, see? Oh, don't even know. <laughs> I need that. Mm hmm? Well, then get it out of his space. Oh, okay, I'll get it over here. Okay, yeah. I'm on your level, though, man. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. They look alike, don't they? Oh, don't you walk away from me. Don't you walk away from me, mister. Mrs. Yeah, we better hope it he doesn't cut off our computer mm -hmm. again. <laughs> Well, he's standing on the, which he's clicking on something. I'm not sure which, but he's clicking on something. I know. Uh -huh. He's right clicking. <laughs> Sam's right clicking on some stuff. If you have uh, technical difficulties, oh, it speaking, is Sam's fault. Well, yeah, we can move on into in the farmhouse because you have stuff going on in the farmhouse, right? Yep. Yep. All right. So in the farmhouse, what do we have going on? When is this going to post? Um, possibly tomorrow. Why not tonight? Because our internet's out. Why is our internet out? Our internet's no out. Our phone is out. Um, we paid the bill this time, folks. So <laughs> We've always paid the bill. So it's not like they had a right to cut us off, okay? No. We live in the country, and look what he's doing to that yarn. Mm. <laughs> or she. Same. Um, he's doing to the yarn. Yes, so we actually paid the bill, folks, just so you know. Yeah, that We're has clarifying. nothing to do with it. Um, when it rains, it sometimes goes out. The phone lines have been burnt up from wildfires. It's been burnt up by the neighbor burning her pasture. Mm -hmm. um, this time, there was a storm that came through, and it thundered, lightning, rained. Oh, we had a farm visit. I forgot to tell about that. Uh, hailed. Um, mm -hmm. People were burning to the north of us. I, I don't think it was ever close enough to get our lines, but that's not saying much. So, because all we have here is DSL, which is through your phone line, and a phone line. Um, yeah, we don't have any phone, do we? No. But we're the only one out to that box out there. So it's not like they have a bunch of people, is it? Right. It's just us. <laughs> and they've come in and they put new lines out. Um, they had this really cool thing that dug underneath our privet hedge and in the ground and just laid the line as it went. Um, the chickens helped them a lot. So they've laid new lines to the house and then into the house, um, but it's out along the road or whatever. And the last time you talked to a lady when she came out to work on it, didn't you get a credit for half a month or something? Yeah. Because she couldn't figure out what was going on, could she? And then it went back to working. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. It's part of country life. You don't have the best internet. You don't have the best, you know, it's, I know that our videos lag a lot, and that's why. There's absolutely nothing we can do about it, correct? Yep. It is what it is, and we don't care. The only thing you care about is your Netflix, huh? Mm -hmm. But now that you have Sam 
It doesn't matter. We don't need Netflix. We got Sam. We got Sam. We don't need Netflix, do we? It's just as entertaining, isn't it? Yep. So, okay. And then um, Bella Bean, our intern, she's having a baby shower, right? Mm -hmm. She is expecting a baby girl, right? Mm -hmm. And are you stretching? He's trying to stretch. Uh, and I was invited to the baby shower. And so I started with a bag, which the bag itself has practical use. If you've, if you're a mom, it's like your little one diaper thing when you're going for just an hour or running between two places that has supplies, like from her grandma's house to her house. If she's got to stop at the grocery store or something, um, she can do, you know, we called it the one diaper bag, meaning it held like one diaper and some wipes and just the bare minute, a bottle, the bare minimums. It wasn't like a three-day trip where you had the big diaper bag with 10 diapers and all that in it. So I made her this one, and I did it with the theme of yellow and blue. So we've got flowers and stripes. What do you think? Sam gave his approval. Her <laughs> approval. It's approval. So I did yellows and blues, and then I decided to make an accessory kit. I, I know that sounds really silly, but... This baby has got everything it's ever going to need. Um, and when I got, when I had my first baby, everybody gave me like pampers. I had pampers I didn't even use and I had to give them away because they all got like the small ones. And you and your sister were both over eight pounds. So without knowing the size of that baby, I'm not going to go out and buy small diapers and, and get her a thing of diapers, which is great. She'd use it, don't get me wrong. But if all of us do that and then she has an eight pound baby, you can't use smalls. So, I wanted to be realistic. Not really. <laughs> I just wanted to have fun with it. So, Bella is Bella. And she doesn't watch the podcast, so I will show you what we do. Can you move Sam off? Because I'm afraid he's going to fall. Or she. Okay, so, the first thing is, is we know that babies sleep. So, I may get him off. He wants this. Okay. So, I need these little slippers. <laughs> And they have, and I hate working with this stuff right here, so I, I love Belle. And that's the only reason I did that was, oh, there's my hair in there. Apparently I crocheted my hair in there. So she's got two it's little slippers. Love. That's right. And then these are the mitts that you put the baby's hands in. And they've got the purple stuff down here, the fuzzy. Uh, RJ used to grab his face with his nails and scratch his face a lot. So we have the mitts. And we have the slippers for sleeping. Then, um, I did this based on 17 inches, but there's a little crown or headband, whichever you want to say for the baby. And it has a matching bib. Now, remember, this is a cutesy little accessory kit. So, this has got a matching bib. And so, she can have her crown and her bib on. I'm trying to, yeah. The, so, there's the crown and the bib. And then I did another one just in different color, and I ran out of the yellow, the ice. Mm -hmm. um, so I ran out of the yellow, so I made it pink and yellow. And again, it's a crown with, and I made them each a little different, so it's got the stuff. Um, Bella likes to take lots of pictures, and so if you've ever seen all these baby things, um, I did give her a pray for the children keychain. Um, she's 16. She's not driving yet. but, And then here is my cutesy. I had something else I was going to do. What was it? There's something else. I'm not done. This is just accessories that she likes to take pictures. And everybody's seen the little angel wing pictures and all that stuff. So these are little sandals that I made. And it's got a little matching bib with it. So, yeah. I thought about doing leg warmers, didn't I? Or diaper covers. Right? And I might still do a diaper cover. I've got the, a lot of yellow, and I've got some peach. And and I got a goose. I got a goose. Um, so I might do some more stuff for her. I'm just doing a little accessory kit so that she can take lots of pictures. Because she does them on her phone and makes them look professional. And her sister has a really decent camera. I'm sorry, I have an itch. Um, 
and her sister likes to take photos like so I am pretty sure that this baby is going to have more photos taken of it than any normal child but with an accessory kit like that and a bag for a diaper or two to take with you to go have some pictures taken I could be okay mm -hmm. I thought about making one of those um, cocoons but the open kind that you have them inside so that you can take a picture and I still might do that I'll do it out of yellow or something um, because then you can accessorize the cocoon with the baby in it so anyway I was doing that and that's what I've worked on we've got to get the taxes done right we have that appointment set already how's your rope and go this weekend oh easy, easy. pretty good Sam's had a traumatic week on the farm hasn't he he just got here <laughs> okay but he was split from his tub at the porcelain store He's had, a traumatic had you been day. have you been there a week no? You don't know? I don't. Are you itchy? He's hatched from his egg, dumped in a box, shipped. Yep. And then He's had a very traumatic farm life so far. Yep. Or week, I guess. We don't know how old Sam is. No, we don't. <laughs> He's still fuzzy. So He goes, no, I'm not. <laughs> Are you still fuzzy? Sam goes, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, if he'd sit on this, he could actually move around. That's the whole point of no, that. She doesn't want on it. It's got to be a girl because it's stubborn. It's got to be a girl because it's stubborn, Mom. <laughs> Can't okay, do there. something he doesn't want to do. There. Okay. I'm going to laugh if Sam poops and he just poops and hops <laughs> off. That would be fantastic. Just don't let her fall. She's just fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Is he fuzzy? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy, fuzzy, wuzzy, wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy's a goose. Anyway. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a goose. Fuzzy Wuzzy had so, no hoot. Fuzzy this podcast hasn't been very entertaining other than watching the goose. <laughs> so. Oh, that's it, folks. That, 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 that's all, folks. You can get in there. I know you can. Yes. No. He needs to say look. He this. needs to say goodbye. Folks, look at this little bitty hole. Think like, of a look. turtle shell. Look at that. I mean, look at that. And she's trying. Fit. She's trying. Will not fit. Will not fit. Any. Bigger opening. Bigger mat all the way around. There you go. Just start ripping it out. There you go. I just have to go back to there. All right. <sighs> I hope this is the right. <laughs> Sam's a little fat. That's okay, Sam. We're not here to judge you. We, we <laughs> like we like you to be a little plump. Won't hurt. Uh, okay. All right. So finish off the podcast, young man. I'm gonna go back to working on this. <laughs> That's all, folks. See ya. What? Well, you said finish it off, so I just killed it right there. Wham. I see that, and Sam is now upset that you're going wham. So. Well, I didn't go. Um, the only other thing we didn't talk about is the Mustang thing. Uh, uh, we can talk about that later. Are you sure? Yep. If you, well, we just need to put it out there as a public service disclaimer. If you've ever wanted to adopt a Mustang, now is the time. They're going to pay you a thousand dollars. It's five hundred dollars sixty days after you adopt, and it is five hundred dollars after sixty days after you title. Which, if anybody's interested, call me. I'll explain what that means. Um, but basically, it costs them $2,000 to house every horse per year. So, if one horse enters this year and it stays in their program for three years, that's cost them $6,000. Mm -hmm. And it's actually going to save them $5,000 by getting you to adopt it on the first year in. So, um, it's serious. You do have to pay a $25 fee. There is an online corral you can go and visit and see, and they have some amazing horses. I'm actually looking at one who has a strike against her, but she's like two. RJ's got to call and find out. I hate the way they do their strike program for the simple fact that it's based on people's ignorance. There's no time. She could have been returned for anything, huh? Mm -hmm. 
it means that a strike means that she's been adopted out and then returned. But here's the thing. If I lie on my application and they come inspect me and I've got animals out here, they're going to have to be returned because they still are property of the Bureau of Land Management. But that gives the horse a strike, not the person. That's not fair. Just because they leave that facility and goes out to an individual's home doesn't always mean that they deserve that strike. Um, I understand that there's not really a good way to do it. So I always call, find out what the strike is and see if it's something that we can do. Oh, and I woke her up and see if it's something that we can work around or rework mm -hmm. and that way they don't have to um and now granted some of them could just be crazy can they not son yes uh so if some of them are just really wild crazy you know we don't always think those um but we'll see We'll see what happens, right? You're going to call on it tomorrow and see? Yep. Well, when the internet gets back up, because that's where the phone number is that I need, right? Yep. You know, I am not very good at this crocheting while I'm talking because I've had to back out. I'm trying to count crochet well, and do. That's all, so, folks. Goodbye. Anyway, if you're interested in a Mustang, make sure that you uh, look into it online. Get approved. Get them out of there and... It does not cost thousands to keep a horse, so, you know, you get quite a bit of money back. And, oh, you mounted Kavayu this week. And you didn't even talk about that. No. If you follow us on YouTube, you've probably already seen it. But, hey, Kavayu had a rider on him, huh? Yep. And how did he do? Have you? Well, it's been too rainy to really do him anymore, hasn't it? Yep. So, Star's been saddled a lot, though, right? Yep. Okay. All right, we're off of here. We will talk at you next time, right? Yeah. That's all, folks. Here, peck right there. Peck right there. Come on. Come on. Sorry.